and salutations folks my name is James Balmuda and in this short little video we're going to be talking about how you can clone a github repository onto our studio cloud to begin you'll need to go to a github repository that you'd like to clone in my case I'm interested in cloning the homework one repository that's been set up for me if we go down to where it says clone or download uh, which is a green button on the right hand side and we press that, you'll notice that a small pop-up appears and it says clone with HTTPS. Down inside this link box, you'll see a actual link. If we go ahead and we press the clipboard, what will happen is that will copy the link uh, onto our clipboard and all we ha then have to do is paste it into uh, our Studio Cloud. So let's go back over to where our Studio Cloud is. One of the key things that you want to be wary about is you don't ever want to be in your workspace. You want to be in the workspace of the class that you're working in. So in my case, we're going to be working in STAT 385. So if we go ahead and press the STAT 385 workspace, notice how on the upper left hand side it changes to STAT 385. From there, we want to go and press the down arrow where we see the new project button, and we want to mouse down to where it says new project from Git repo. If we go ahead and click that, we'll get a pop-up that's asking us for that URL that we copied previously. If we go ahead and use either Command V if you're on a Mac or Control V if you're on Windows, that'll paste the link. At that point, all we have to do is press OK. And what will happen is um, our Studio Cloud will begin setting up um, a project space for us. Now, this can take a little bit of time, so it's important to be patient. Once it's set up, you'll be prompted for the GitHub credentials. Here, you're being asked to enter in your GitHub username. In my case, that's Coatless, C-O-A-T-L-E-S-S. -S. Notice when we press OK, uh, we can instantly see the name of the user account um, when we're being fo followed up with a prompt for the password. So here it's coatless as the user account that's on GitHub and we need to uh, enter the password for that specific user. Again, in my case, that's going to be not telling one. And once we do that, uh, our, the project will restart and we'll have access